can start. Hi, my name is Sikmeet Takar, and I'm an undergrad student in Dr. Ross's genetics lab. The project I've been working on is quantifying developmental delay in interspecies hybrid. Previous research indicates that pistocystinsi, Briggsy, AF16, and HK104 hybrids might affect development and fecundity. So this research influenced me to create an experiment where I studied the developmental rate of the F2 generation and identify when during development a delay occurs. My hypothesis is a small portion of F2 hybrids will exhibit developmental delay at approximately 48 hours. In this project, I use C. Briggsy because C. Briggsy has two different parent strains, AF16, a tropical strain from India, and a HK104, a temperate strain from Japan. They self-fertilize, they're easy to grow in lab, and they produce many offspring, giving me a large sample size. Their development can easily be observed in a, under a microscope. As you can see in figure three, uh, there's a difference in a hermaphrodite and a male. Hermaphrodite is above with the blue embryos, and the male is the one with the fanned out tail. And they also have a short life cycle. My goal is to identify where in this life cycle does it developmental delay occur. So my method, I sperm depleted an HK104 hermaphrodite and set up a cross with an AF16 male, and then I collected the F1 generation, and I took one of the F1 generation hermaphrodites, and I sperm depleted it and moved it from plate to plate every 24 hours. I collected the entire F2 generation and photographed them at 24, 48, and 72 hours. I froze a parent F1 and F2 generation to genotype later. I was able to analyze fecundity size and development at each time interval, in figure five, I show exactly how I measured the length using a program called ImageJ. In my data, I noticed that there was a significant increase in the length of 24-hour-old larvae from, that were collected on day one versus day two. And there was also a significant increase in length from the ones collected on day two to day three. So with this, the growth rate varies based on the day the worm was collected. So my future data analysis will include identifying the developmental stage in each micrograph, and with this analysis, I'll be able to measure growth rate and see when does is it more based on developmental stage versus when the worm was collected. I'm also going to genotype the entire F2 generation because I'm interested in which genes in AF16 and HK104 hybrids don't function properly together and result in developmental delay. I also want to see how and why the F1 mother would influence the early growth of her offspring because of the different significant increase in 24 hour embryos for on day one versus day two versus day three. And I want to repeat this experiment and reduce experimental artifact that I was probably obtained due to a delay in obtaining the micrographs because there were many worms. Thank you.